Okay guys, let's go ahead and let's look at this problem. It says that a 4200 kilogram helicopter accelerates upward at um, 2.3 meters per second squared. The acceleration of gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. What lift force is exerted by the air on the propellers? Now, the one thing you might think is, oh, here we have our mass, we have an acceleration, all you have to do is multiply those two things. The one thing that you have to understand, if the helicopter was sitting still, so the helicopter was just sitting on the ground, we would have a force that was applied by gravity, and we would have a normal force that would equal that. Okay, For the object to be moving upward, for, for the, for the uh, helicopter to be moving upward and to accelerate upward, there has to be an additional force. And so what we're seeing here is there's going to be a net force going up. So the first thing that we have to figure out is, well, what is originally, what's the force? If it's sitting still, what's the force? Well, we calculate it the same way, except gravity we know is mass times gravity. So or the force due to gravity, we know as mass times gravity. That's the weight. So the first thing we're going to calculate is just the weight. So we have 4,200 kilograms times gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. And that's going to give us a force of 41,160 newtons. Okay, that's just the force due to gravity. That's just the normal force. So for it to be accelerating, it has to have an additional force applied to it. And that's the force that's exerted by the air um, on the propellers. And so what we see is that since it's accelerating upwards at 2.03 meters per second squared, and we know the mass of the helicopter, we can calculate that additional force. So for our force applied, what we can see is it's going to be a sum of this force, this 41,160 newtons, plus the force that we see caused by the acceleration. So we'll have 4,200 kilograms times our 2.03, and that's going to give us a force of right around 8,526 newtons. And that's the difference in force. That's the net force. And so to find the total force, if this is the net force, all we have to do is we add our net force to the force due to gravity to its weight and that will give us our overall force um, or the force um, which is exerted by the air on the propellers.